Hello and welcome to the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Tuesday, November 26th. Um, it's a full play today. This will be a extended briefing. Uh, we have winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories out over eastern Idaho. So um, it starts uh, as late late tonight in most places all day Wednesday into uh, Thursday morning, 5 a.m. So um, let's first, though, take a look at today. Um, this is for the 24-hour period. We are looking for some light snow during the daylight hours today. Um, after midnight, then we'll start getting this heavy stuff you can see outlined here in central Idaho. So it'll lay off until then. We still have some uh, kind of breezy to windy conditions on the very western edge of our forecast area in south central Idaho. So let's take a look at that now. First of all, uh, snowfall amounts this morning. We've already had uh, almost half an inch of snow in the Burley area. And um, the light green to dark green is all really kind of light snow. Uh, it doesn't really get up to an inch until you get into this dark green stuff. So you can see that's mostly over the mountains. And it's fractions of an inch over um, the uh, central Idaho mountains and down here in the Bear Lake region. And then for the afternoon, again, it continues light. You can see, though, that it actually probably uh, some of it might change to rain, but a lot of it evaporates on this eastern side. Uh, as the low comes closer, it gets uh, a little bit more organized. This precipitation, but still very light. And again, a lot of this uh, may fall as rain, especially at these lower elevations, but it won't be much rain either, be on the order of you know, hundredths to five hundredths of an inch. Um, here's the afternoon highs for Tuesday. Uh, you can see it's struggling to get to above freezing uh, here at Twin Falls, 34 degrees, Burley 32, Pocatello 30. So it's actually going to stay below freezing today in, um, in Pocatello. So that's because of the cloud cover uh, that's coming in primarily and you can see here even during the evening hours it's just starting to accumulate to more than an inch uh, in some of these dark green areas and then this is where we have the abrupt change where the, the low is finally bringing in the heavy moisture heavy precipitation oh, excuse me one more one more time period uh, again it continues light um, here uh, for late Tuesday night uh, the winds, though, uh, like I said, they start to pick up here with the approach of this low. They're out of the southeast, and so what that's going to mean is for the locations that are right inside the mountain chains to the south of, say, Pocatello, so the basically the I-15 and then I-86 and I-84 corridor, there's going to be what we call a rain shadow or a precipitation shadow where there won't be a lot of precipitation. Unfortunately, that is along the interstate or at least close to where it is. It doesn't mean it will be zero, but the much heavier snow will be up in here where the air travels uphill in the southeast flow. And also in this area down here, um, Casha County into uh, the highlands here, uh, we'll also have quite a bit of snow all the way over to Bear Lake by the time the night's done and the day tomorrow. So let's take a look at how that evolves. Uh, first of all, the overnight lows on Wednesday uh, starting to get cool uh, once again here. And so for the 24 hours from this morning until tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., uh, you can see the Ketchum area 3 to 4 inches is what is forecasted by that. So um, district up in here will have some work to do, again, primarily uh, during the overnight hours, but uh, there could be some light snow uh, even even this morning. Um, you could see it tapers down by the time you get into the, again, the uh, I-84, I-86, uh, I-15 corridor. Uh, you're looking at less than an inch, um, with the exception of I-84 as it goes down into Utah, where it'll get be getting closer to around an inch, especially in this area here, uh, this gap between the uh, mountains where it, uh, I-84 goes through. And zero to just, you know, uh, again, some pretty light snow 
over here in the eastern highlands going into Wyoming. Okay, so this is when the snow really takes off is Wednesday morning. So uh, you can see where it's forecasting heavy snow and it's sort of spreading to the north and east. And we'll make it all the way into the um, Island Park area. So let's see how that evolves here. Uh, you see much heavier snowfall now uh, during the morning hours. And the heaviest snow on Wednesday will be during the day. It'll start to taper off during the evening. Again, it won't go to zero, though. It's still going to be significant precipitation, uh, definitely measurable, and uh, probably on the order of you know, another um, you know, one to four inches. But here are some pretty heavy snow. The heaviest, though, will come in the afternoon. Uh, you can see it's actually getting into these yellow shades, which I'm not sure exactly what that color means, but it, it would be on the order of 10 inches. Now, most of this, though, is obviously in the higher elevations above the highway. All right, and we continue with the windy uh, southwest, or south to southeast, rather, um, airflow. Uh, again, helping to create a lot of drifting and blowing snow, so low visibilities in some of this. Uh, here's the winds during the afternoon. See, it's actually starting to weaken already, especially in our area. Not so much in, uh, in the Owyhee Desert area, but... Uh, uh, and it is starting to limit itself to the ridges probably way out, well up above uh, most of the f uh, freeway elevations. And maximum temperatures on Wednesday, about the same, maybe a little bit cooler. Uh, struggles to get to 36 there in Burley, 33 for Pocatello, 31 in Idaho Falls. Uh, so in the Early evening hours, still pretty good, especially up in here and all along this tier. And this is where the winter storm warning is in effect for the 24-hour period. And you'll see the snow totals here once we get to the end of uh, this 24-hour period. Uh, you can also see heavy snow down here, or at least moderate to heavy. Combine that with what's happened during the day. And so the other areas here in the Snake River Plain and this Cache County area uh, and the locations here along the, in the eastern highlands. We are actually have winter weather advisories in effect. And again, that's Wednesday, uh, basically f you know, 5 a.m. to Thursday. That's Thanksgiving morning, 5 a.m. Here it is in the evening. Again, uh, it's not zero, but it is starting to taper off. You can see uh, the Burley area actually not getting any snow after midnight. Uh, and you can see how much the winds have now tapered off here at 5 p.m. So I don't believe that we even loaded the 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. winds. So the overnight lows uh, start to get cold, single digits in the central Idaho mountains. We still have cloud cover here, which keeps our temperatures uh, a little bit warmer in the Snake River Plain area and in the highland areas here in the east and south. So here is the 24-hour expected snowfall from Wednesday morning 5 a.m. to Thanksgiving Day 5 a.m. Heavy snow. This is why we have the warnings out with uh, plenty of wind in there to push it around and drift and blow it uh, all the way over to Island Park. Uh, the other area, uh, we, this is why this area down here south of Burley is just wind advisory, not a whole lot of snow there, but the focus of the snow there will be basically from Malta over into the um, Bear Lake Basin Again, enough winds there to push it around and drift it. Not as strong as up in here, but still strong enough. And then the other area of you know, winter weather advisories is this area between Island Park and Soda Springs where snow isn't as heavy. Uh, but we are getting some, you know, some pretty good winds in here. It could drift and blow snow around. And then in the Snake River Plain, you can see the total two to three inches. Again, that's because of that precipitation shadow, as I mentioned before, uh, with this southeast to south wind. All right, then Thanksgiving Day, the snow continues. You can see the low just very slow to move. Uh, it's what we call a closed low, and those tend to move uh, slower. And it will actually sort of meander around the Great Basin. 
um, it won't be directly exiting us and so it will continue to pump precipitation into eastern Idaho uh, even in an extended period as you'll see so Thanksgiving morning after 5 a.m. Uh, you can see how much lighter the snow is, but still, you know, getting around two inches here in the six-hour period. Uh, and again, in the same locations here in sort of the front range of the Central Idaho Mountains over to the Island Park area. And again, in the southern and eastern highlands. That continues into the afternoon. It actually intensifies a little bit in the Central Idaho Mountains. And highs uh, on... Thanksgiving Day, pretty much the same as the day before. Again, we're not getting that much out of uh, freezing range. Uh, and then here, as it loads, um, see it's not as intense as the Wednesday, Wednesday night uh, feature is. Uh, a lot less snow. And we'll get to a 24-hour amount here. Um, but it's still snowing, especially in these areas, and even here in the Snake River Plain, this is at least light snow. And then the overnight lows on Thanksgiving night, you can see the skies start to partially clear. That cold air seeps further and further to the south and east, although still enough cloud cover to keep us in the teens here from basically Pocatello southward. Okay, so here's the snowfall for Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving night. Uh, you can see it stays pretty good. You know, that's six to eight inches over Galena Summit. Um, but mostly it's below that, but still, you know, some pretty good snow. And again, that's sort of consistent throughout the day. There's no real breakup or let up until maybe the late night hours. This is the extended forecast. You can pause this to look at it in more detail, but basically, we, by Friday, we're down to chances of snow, and then Saturday, slight chance, and then Sunday, just a slight chance of Central Idaho Mountains, and also just part of the areas on Monday having a slight chance. Uh, temperatures remaining cold, but with a warming trend developing uh, by Sunday. And look at these temperatures, a lot of areas getting below zero on Friday night and Saturday night. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, contact us at this telephone number or check out the weather yourself, weather.gov slash Pocatello. If you have any comments or feedback for the content of the briefing, email our webmaster at this address. Thanks for watching.